We're back again on Lutherans Alive with Pastor Aaron Smith of Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Newcastle, talking about the Lutheran Youth Organization and most recent developments here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Aaron, it is an exciting time to think of ways that our young people are becoming more involved, more uh, connected, and more inspired about mm -hmm. uh, their place in the church. Mm -hmm. um, in southwestern Pennsylvania, Lutheran congregations in many cases are smaller congregations. And as you've already alluded to, the numbers may not always be um, very large in, in a local congregation. Sure. But um, this can be an exciting time when right. folks can begin to make connections and right. do the networking and relationship building beyond yeah. those yeah. normal limitations. The, the power of youth coming together and of seeing that there's other youth in the synod who might, their church might be in the same position that, that, that the one is, and there's... There's room to, to talk about, well, here's how things have been going at my church, and at my church we do this, and they're sharing ideas, um, ideas that might not necessarily be shared when pastors get together. I think that there's many youth in the synod that are, that are just really excited to be serving in a, in a congregation and to be serving the synod as a whole. You mentioned going to national youth gatherings, and mm -hmm. this last one mm -hmm. was specifically focused uh, quite a bit on service. Yes. And yeah. uh, you were saying that's the kind of thing that generates excitement and right. uh, leads young people to say, we don't have to go to New Orleans to do those kinds exactly. of things. We can do exactly. them Exactly. Exactly. That was a subject of conversation that was brought up at our last two meetings, the, the sort of organizational meetings of, you know, the youth of this synod were so impacted by their experiences there. Um, their experiences of the city of New Orleans, but also the chance to really impact a city. Um, there was so much good work done there. There were so many um, homes that were built and schools that were painted and items that were collected and parks that were mulched. It's just mm -hmm. unbelievable. Um, and they brought that spirit back home with them. I see it time and time again of, of youth who realize the potential of what they're capable of at an event like that and then come back to their home congregation, to their home synod and say, yeah, we could do something here. Let's mm -hmm. talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's going to be something in the future that, that we start to plan. If it's a synod-wide youth service project, just something local. Say, you know, let's go into the city of Pittsburgh for an afternoon and we'll do this. And, mm -hmm. and you know, by, by planning that event, um, by coordinating that event, um, leading that event, the youth of the LYO learn valuable skills and help to motivate the rest of this, the youth of the Synod um, mm -hmm. to that same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really is an exciting possibility, and it will be uh, great to see some of those things sure. actually sure. come to fruition. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you um, will be using some of those very same skills that you learned as a, a, an LYO person coming along. Sure. And uh, we were sharing off camera for a bit uh, your vision of some of the kinds of variety of things that might be offered as the youth get together over right. time at retreats and at the other uh, meetings. I think it's very important to start with scripture, um, to start with a, that as your base and to do a Bible study um, as often as you meet together, uh, to start in prayer, just to be praying regularly for each other. I pray regularly for all the kids that I've met so far here. And let me just say, it's such a joy to meet the youth of the Synod. I just am continually amazed everywhere I go um, just the, the possibilities and the potential and the intelligence and the faithfulness that I see um, in the youth here. So starting off with scripture, um, being persistent in prayer for one another and, and um, just being in relationship like that, getting to know one another, learning that sort of trusting community. Um, and from that, building on um, gifts that the youth already have mm -hmm. and learning about what gifts they might have that they might not even be aware of. Um, and perhaps bringing in some speakers, you know, bringing in people from other places who, who have done this before. You know, I'm not pretending like I know how to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, this is my first time uh, trying to start up something like this. I've seen people do it. I've been a part of it. Um, but, I, but I think it's going to be kind of a group effort of, um, you know, Pastor Sarah Lee Faulkner is also um, uh, involved in this and is advising this um, from the synod level. Um, and so it's really, it's going to be exciting about what the possibilities are um, mm -hmm. and what the youth are, are interested in in the coming year and what they think their priorities should be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know at this point, do you have much in the way of resources to help 
bring this to pass? Well, um, there's there's been a number of pastors and youth leaders that have really pledged their support, mm. um, and I I've unfortunately yet to been able to find ways to do that. But we're brainstorming about ways that. Um, the adults in the synod who really want to see this happen can be involved um, while still having it be a youth-led um, uh, mm -hmm. endeavor. Um, but I'm really thankful for the, all their support and all their ideas. It's, it's huge. Um, and I have a number of other LYO advisors and other synods um, that have offered help, that have offered maybe to come out and speak with our youth about, you know, here's what we do in this synod or in that synod. Here's some ideas. Mm -hmm. um, as far as on the national level, I've gotten some good ideas from them as well. There is a national youth and Lutheran youth organization um, with an elected board there. Uh, uh -huh. So yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of resources out there. It's finding how that will all fit together in this particular context. I think. Well, and we're hoping to play a part in that today as we uh, also Definitely. share the message mm -hmm. uh, on Lutherans Alive. And um, at the same time, we'll, we'll be happy to put the contact information. Great. For um, if we have email addresses, Facebooks, yep. uh, whatever. Uh, we know that the youth are probably more effective at communication sure. uh, with the, sure. the modern That's... technology than many of us. We'll find each other. <laughs> and keep mm -hmm. those thumbs moving. Yep, yep. Yeah. Not while driving, though. That's important. <laughs> um, I guess we, we also want to have the contact information for Pastor Sara Lee at the Synod. Sure, definitely. So that if folks who are watching the program uh, catch the vision and want to know um, if there's a way that they can get involved, I guess one of the uh, concepts that we've learned recently is asset management. Yeah, and yeah. And so we're, we want to be continuing to uh, identify our assets, uh -huh. Uh -huh. try to pool those assets and bring them together in a way that can really... Uh, make a positive impact on what we're trying yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, I guess as you're in the early stages of this, mm -hmm. do you have any sense in terms of timeline for um, how long it takes to get an active functioning? Uh, Honestly, group? no. I think that it's going to be an organic process. I think that we have a functioning group. I'm not sure what entirely we're going to end up being functioning as yeah. um, I think that it, it's going to start with with youth and their motivation and their gifts um, and it's really I'm as much as I'm an advisor and I'm a resource and I'm support I, I might end up just being along for the ride at some point yeah. um, because I really believe that the youth of the synod have the the capabilities of doing great things and if that means I step back and say what do you all right, I'll support you. I'll provide resources. We'll be there. Um, what are we going to do? Well, let's, let's take our cue from you. We'll say that we'll pray about it. Thank you. And we'll ask Thank the you. Lord's blessings and guidance and inspiration on yeah. all these efforts. And we know that we have many um, fine young youth here in our synod and that the Lord will use them well. Thank you. Thanks for being here with us so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for being with us today on Lutherans Alive. We hope you've enjoyed this opportunity to hear about a new initiative in youth ministry with the Lutheran Youth Organization of our Synod. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers and help where you can. Until next time, this is Lutherans Alive. Good day and God bless you.